we constantly read to them. So at any point in any time during the day, um, you can be doing something and a child will come up to you and say, hey mommy, hey daddy, can you read this to me? And we've adapted the mentality that we're gonna stop what we're doing and we're gonna build these memories and we're going to take advantage of this bonding time as much as possible. Welcome to Plan Prep Pray. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about all things homeschooling, kids empowerment, mommy self-care and home management. So subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. So this is a collab with two of my favorite homeschool mamas, Nakia from the Washington family and um, Tori from the Oglesby Ohana. Check out how they foster a love of reading in their homes. I will link the playlist down below and check them out. You're gonna learn so much and get so many tips on how to foster a love of reading in your home. One last thing before we dive right in. I have a freebie at the end of this video that is, you're gonna love. So stay to the end of this video so you can figure out how you can get it. So the first way that we foster a love of reading in my home is that we cater to the child's interests. So for example, my son, um, he was a very reluctant reader. And uh, through trial and error, I discovered that he loves Captain Underpants. Now, he loved all things about the this comic book style book. And so I was like, okay, I went, I grabbed the first book. He was done, he wanted to do the second one. I grabbed the second one and the third one and the fourth. And before I knew it, he had gone through all the Captain Underpants books. And then I was like, okay, so what else does he like? He loves adventures and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, let's do adventures in Odyssey. So he went through all 25 of those books in like, a matter of months. And so my number one or my first tip to you would definitely be to cater towards your child's interests. Find books, discover books, take time to learn what your child is into and find those books and place them in your house. So the other thing that we do in our home, which you can tell from our um, too much screen time video, um, which I'll link up above, but we limit screens in our home. And so with screen time, my children will always choose screens over reading any day. So in our home, we have a when then. So when they are done um, reading for the day, then they, can have technology. So technology is not free reign. It's not something that they just have access to at all times. It's something that is earned or um, a, I guess awarded in a way. So with that being said, unlike um, technology, which is limited, in our home, we allow access to books. And so there is books everywhere. There is books in bedrooms and books in family rooms and books on the table. Books are not hidden or stored away or kept from the children. Um, they're just out and they're ready. And it's, <laughs> I, I say hidden because I used to hide our books um, from the little ones because I just got tired of constantly having to put back up the books after they tore them down. Um, but I've learned that um, in order to foster a love of learning, your children have to, from babies, have access to books, are chewing on books and, and um, just loving on books and books are just there and they're just a part of their life. With books being around all the time, we are constantly being asked to read to our children. And that is something that we do. We constantly read to them. So at any point in any time during the day, um, you can be doing something and a child will come up to you and say, hey mommy, hey daddy, can you read this to me? And we've adapted the mentality that we're gonna stop what we're doing and we're gonna build these memories and we're going to take advantage of this bond time as much as possible and sit down and read to them. So we're constantly reading to them as well. 
And lastly, they see us reading. They not only see us reading, but we get interested in what they're reading. Children tend to do as you do and not necessarily do as you say. So we try to take an interest in the books that they're reading and we try to have them see us reading. And so I know for my husband, him and my oldest son read um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe together, as well as um, The Whipping Boy and things like that. So they, he takes an interest in the books that my son is reading and takes the time to read them as well. And then they have discussions about the books. So it just helps to foster this love of reading because we're interested in it. So reading must be cool. So with developing a love of reading, you wanna make sure that your children are not only accountable and reading what they say that they're reading, but that they also understand what they're reading. And so we developed a reading log as well as a book report guide, like template, and we're giving it to you guys to use with your little ones. Um, it, everything will be linked down below enjoy have fun so question of the day which one of these five tips do you do with your children which ones could you work on a little bit harder let me know don't forget to check out Nakia and Tori's video you're gonna love it you're gonna learn something new I promise check it out and I will see you next time bye That was weird, right? So cut it off. <laughs> oh no, I did it again.